All right, we had a lot of stuff coming in this week. A lot of stuff coming in this week. We're not going to spend a million hours on a non-transforming transformer, but this one is kind of special because it's actually the first time Hot Wheels made an official Optimus Prime with Autobot logos and it all also being listed as Optimus Prime. Packaging here, and this is one that I kept in the package because Hot Wheel collectors collect cardboard. And here we go. So here's the packaging for it. It shows all the other trucks in the wave and they're all in a black and white state. And here is the Optimus Prime coming down the orange track. Looks really nice. Um, it is, you know, we're going to talk about it on the inside. Here's the back. And I did want to get that Volvo 240 um, Drift Camper. I need to go try to find that one. Um, I don't care for the other ones. Like, Track Fleet. <laughs> You know, if you want something where you have like a carrying car, a team transport, it's going to cost you, but a lot of the team transports are worth it if you can find them. So this is to give you an idea. Um, you can get the Rad Rig, Rad Rider Rig. The I want that Volvo 240 Drift Camper. I'm going to have to go back and look for that. Uh, the semi uh, Roger Dodger, which is, I guess, a semi version of the Roger Dodger, I guess. Um, the Speed Hauler, um, the Fueling Fire, and then, of course, Optimus Prime. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And we're going to put that to the side for a second. Actually, we just put that right there because we can now show off another one, which is the truck. So first things first, let's get some measurements here. This is 164 scale. Now, when I get into the guts of this, this is basically a plastic model. This is not metal on metal. Um, they probably reserved that for that uh, transformable 164 scale Optimus Prime. I ain't never going to pay no $80 for that garbage. <laughs> anyway. Um, but measurement, he is about five inches in length. Uh, the cab looks to be by itself about a little under two and a half inches. And then the trailer itself looks to be about th a little over three and a half inches. So that's the idea. None of the parts to open or close. Um, now you can separate the trailer. Um, you can do this here. And there is a ball pin joint, which uh, locks into kind of like a metal thing here. So, you know, you ain't got to worry about it breaking or anything like that. Um, so you can get a good look at the cab and the cab basically has short, short smokestacks. He is solid. Like I said, the base is plastic. It's not metal. Um, but you can see there um, the, the grill here looks really nice. There's the cab. There's the top. There's the back. No headlights or anything like that. And there's the bottom. Um, should give you some information here if you could see it. Um, you know, the made in Malaysia, you know, like I say, it doesn't say metal on metal at the bottom, so I know it's not metal. And then we could look at the cab. Now, the cab again, that part is metal, that part is metal, so it's not all plastic, but the rest of it is that is a very nice plastic. Um, the wheels are that new, kind of like a black, they almost remind me of coal molds a little bit, but it's got that. Uh, chrome to it, so I don't know what they call them, I forgot. Um, but no, it doesn't do anything at the bottom, and there's also some information and writing on the bottom. Um, but it's pretty much just plastic, just the plastic. Like I said, you can just do it like this if you want, and you know, and of course, if you want to peg it all together, you can do that, and he does roll. Yeah, he yeah, rolls real nice. Almost rolls like a faster than ever Hot Wheel. And we're going to compare it to a 164 scale Hot Wheel I have, and now, this is from the car and donut series. The reason why this car is open is because of the fact that uh, the package blister had kind of, I bought the whole case and the blister had, was already open. So I was like, go ahead and free it from his cage. And this is an actual premium line car. Um, this is metal on metal, metal base, metal chassis, rubber tires, spectra flame paint, 164 scale. And you can see here, he is too damn large. So this Optimus Prime is not scaled kind of you know but it's 164 scale from that of optimus prime so you have to go by that but yeah definitely this car and this rig should not be uh this big trust me on that you know what i'm saying it, it just that's impossible okay just to give you an idea it's not quite hot wheels friendly scale let me just put it that way but other than that you can snap that in real good like i said before he will roll whether you have him in here or not this is not going to roll because of the fact that this have rubber tires, so, all right. So let's just get that out there and get that out the way. And that is it for the review. So let's wrap this up all in one. 
We spent too much time in this video. Basically, it is a nice rendition of the Optimus Prime vehicle mode made by Hot Wheels, trusted brand of making 164 scale cars for since 68, if you know. Um, so, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I think if you pick this up, you'll be very pleased because especially if you're a G1 collector, you have to pick this up. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying you have to because someone will say, well, why didn't you pick up the Mattel $80 toy? I felt like I didn't have to, but you may have had to, but that's your business. But anyway, I kind of think it's cool. It's nice to have. That's why I bought two because I knew I was going to open one and this will probably get lost in translation. But this will go with my other box Hot Wheels, so I always know where it is. On to find Ultra Magnus and I'm not even worried about the Bumblebees. All right, we're done with this review. On to the next one. There's a lot we have to do. So this is Super Robot Ed bringing more news reviews to them. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.